Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna be trying the drugstore makeup that you guys cannot live without. I asked you guys on Instagram what drugstore makeup product, if you had to pick one, you could absolutely not live without, and I pulled from that and created a full face of makeup of your absolute favorite products. It was really fun to see the responses, and I agreed with so many of them, and then some of them I haven't used in a really long time, or I've never used. So those are the ones I went with for this video, just because I thought it'd be more interesting to see me try products that I haven't tried a bunch of times already and already know that I love. If you wanna participate in videos like this, make sure you're following me on Instagram. It's always linked down below in my bio, and and just a quick disclaimer, our front entrance area is being painted right now, so I have the window open in this room just to kind of ventilate it. So if you hear a lot of outside noises in this video, that is why. But with that, let's go ahead and get right into it. All right, so the first product is primer. This is the Milani Rose Primer Prep and Hydrate Lightweight Base. This has the hyaluronic acid, niacinamide, and vitamin B5, as well as rose oil and rose stem cells. I remember trying this in a What's New at the Drugstore series and I haven't used it since, but I feel like I really liked it. So I am not surprised that this made someone's list. I'm just gonna put some, like a pea size amount in my fingers and then put it all over. It smells just like roses. They definitely nailed the scent, but it's not too overpowering. Oh, this does make my skin feel so, so smooth. And it just feels super hydrated. I feel like whoever said that this is a product they couldn't live without has dry skin. And I think any of you with dry skin that don't mind a little bit of fragrance would love this primer. All right, next up is not a new product to me. And it is a product that I've known and loved, but it was by far the number one response. So I'm gonna use it. And it's the Perfect Cover BB Cream by Misha. You guys know how much I love this BB cream. I use mine in the shade number 27, which is Honey Beige. This has an SPF of 42 in it. Definitely a strong smell, but fan freaking tastic coverage and is just a holy grail product in my makeup collection. It feels really hydrating, but it's also oily skin friendly. And I typically just apply it with my fingers. If I'm using this as like my everyday foundation. I'll just go right in with my fingers. It takes two seconds and it gives you such beautiful coverage. Y'all know how much I love this product, so enough said there. But the next product is brand new to me and based off of the video that I did a couple videos back, I am so excited to try it. I'm actually gonna be opening it for this video because I went and bought it for this video and it's the Undone Beauty Conceal to Reveal Plus Glow Giving Coconut Extract 3-in-1 Cream Coverage. I got the shade Buttercream Medium Light. The shade Light looked really, really light, so we'll see if this is too dark for me, but I wanted to kind of be able to use it as an all over product on days where I don't want to wear a foundation or anything all over my face, so I didn't want it to be too, too light. It comes with a good bit of product, and I'm just gonna use my finger and put some under my eyes. For those of you that didn't see, um, Undone Beauty and Kristen S are now also at Ulta. That happened, I think, yesterday. Um, when I'm filming this and Ulta and Target announced like a merge or that they would be carrying the same products so definitely starting to see that happen Wow look at that coverage I'm glad I went medium light and not light because this is still really brightening but it's not too intense and this is just I mean it looks like skin it's going on like it's my skin it's so creamy and it feels really hydrating but without feeling like it's going to crease all over the place. Super impressed by this and by most of the products that I tried from Undone Beauty. I'm just going to do the same thing on this eye. Okay y'all, blown away is an understatement. This is incredible and I have not stopped using the cream blush from Undone. I am so, so excited about these products. They are so good. This one in the cream blush. If you haven't tried those products, you need to. And thank you for whoever said that this was their Holy Grail concealer because it's gonna become one of mine. All right, next up is setting powder. And the most common response was the e.l.f. Halo Glow setting powder. I, again, have not used this in a really long time. I have the shade Light, but it's one of my absolute favorite setting powders. I get comfortable, I think, sometimes with the setting powder that I'm using. Right now, I'm using the number seven setting powder, and I like to do these types of videos just to get me out of my comfort zone and get me to use different products than the ones that sit downstairs on my vanity. So I'm just taking this brush from the Marble Luxe Collection by BH Cosmetics, and if I didn't mention it, I used the e.l.f. 
putty primer um, applicator for the foundation application. I really like how this powder sets your makeup and keeps it in place without taking away the luminosity of your skin. So it's almost like an hourglass type of effect, like an hourglass ambient lighting where you're setting your makeup, but you're not taking away from the healthy glow that the products are giving you underneath. And this shade is perfect for me. It's got a tiny bit of like a yellow tint to it, which helps brighten, but it's not too intense. So my skin is fully set now. I still have some glowiness coming through. Nothing on my face looks super matte. It looks very healthy, but it also feels like it's locked in. Another great one from you guys, I'm not surprised. For bronzer and blush, I had responses that were all over the place. So I went with the ones that I haven't used in a really long time that got the most love. And for bronzer, it's the Maybelline City Bronzer. I have mine in the shade 200, and I'm just gonna use my Wet n Wild powder brush to apply that. This is such a good bronzer. Oh my gosh. I need to take this one downstairs and have this be my everyday bronzer. I really love this color and it's so pigmented, so blendable. What I love about these videos is how well you guys know me and how great your taste is. I don't think I've filmed one of these videos ever and been disappointed by a product. Now I feel like I've got dimension and color back into my face. I'm gonna finish it off with a little bit of blush. And this was one of my favorite blushes, but I just haven't used it in forever. And I saw it as a response that was repeated a few times. And I was like, oh my gosh, I wanna use that. I miss it. And it's the Burt's Bees Blush. This is in the shade Toasted Cinnamon, amazing color and formula. There's not a whole lot of Burt's Bees makeup that I am like, oh my gosh, you have to have it. But this product is, one of the ones I feel that way about. I just got a lot on my brush, so I'm kind of distributing it. But it's just this warm, like it says, like toasted blush color that just warms up the skin. I feel like it's really flattering, even though it seems like because of the warmth of it, it wouldn't be flattering on fairer skin tones. It really is. And it has a little bit of a sheen to it because the first ingredient is mica, which creates a beautiful luminous glow. So I feel like Especially this paired with the Halo Glow Powder is a beautiful combination. If you like to have some luminosity left on your skin but you're not big on like highlighter, you just want it to look very natural, lit from within, these are the type of products that I would highly recommend for that type of preference where you don't want it to be outright highlighted but you want it to just be like, oh wow, your skin looks so healthy and glowy but I can't put my finger on why. All right, next up, let's get these eyebrows filled in. I didn't get a ton of brow pencil must-haves when I asked for like the one product that you couldn't live without. I got a ton of lip and mascaras, but not so much brows, which is surprising because I cannot live without my brow products. But the one that I got the most was the CoverGirl Ultra Fine Brow Pencil. And I know that I've tried this in the past, but I had to go buy it and I can't remember what I think of it. So we'll find out together. I got the shade Soft Brown, which is 710. It's got a spoolie. You guys know how much I love a good spoolie. Let's just go right in and apply. Ooh, this color is perfect, perfect, perfect. Very pigmented, but also very soft. This color is just very easy to work with because it's not too, too intense and it matches my brow color perfectly. All right, that's one brow done. I'm really happy with that. I love this shade. It's darkened it. It's filled it in, but it still looks really natural. It doesn't look super dark, and this is really fast and easy to work with. And those are like my main things with a brow pencil, is can I do my brows quickly, and is the shade right? Because the shade can be hard to find. If you want something that's not gonna be too warm or too cool, or too dark or too light, it's like Goldilocks. All right, next up is an eyeshadow palette, and I chose the one that I've only used, I think, one time ever. It still has, like, the plastic on it. And it was one of the only eyeshadow palettes that you guys said. I think because if you're thinking of one product you can't live without, it's not going to be an eyeshadow palette. But for this person, it was, and it's this Baby Got Peach eyeshadow palette by ColourPop. Like I said, I still have the plastic on it. I'm going to take that off. Colors in here are so summery. So this is an exciting palette to discover right in time for summer. I'm gonna start with my Wet n Wild crease brush and I'm gonna go in with the shade Darlin, which is this shade right here, and just blend that all through the crease. I feel like this is gonna coordinate with my shirt pretty well. Ooh, look at that pigment. 
it's a really light shade so I didn't think it was going to show up very well but and it actually goes really nicely with the toasted cinnamon blush. Now I'm going to take this kind of orangey shade right here with a smaller brush. This one is the Firm Eyeshadow Blending Brush by Profusion. And just really pull the orange out of the crease color. Okay, now on my finger I'm going to take this color which is just called Get Even. It's a really pretty pink with an orange shift to it. Oh my goodness, look at that. Wow. I might not be able to live without this either. This is stunning. And like I'm barely pressing my finger in there. I'm not having to dig out this pigment at all. It's just coming right off. Okay, right, now I'm gonna take the shade Half Baked, which is like the deepest matte shade, and just put that right in the crease to deepen it up just a tiny bit. I'm barely using any because these are so pigmented. They're super pigmented, but they're also super blendable, so it's really hard to screw up. And just because I'm really curious about it, I'm gonna use this glitter. Just take some on my finger and press it. Oh, we are going for it today, aren't we? There's a little bit of fallout, but I think that's because I probably needed some sort of a glitter glue or base, but it's sticking really well even without that. My daughter's gonna be like, who are you? <laughs> Okay, so I think I'm gonna leave it there for the eyeshadow and go in with my eyeliner. And my most common response for eyeliner was the Physician's Formula Eye Booster Eyeliner. And if you saw my best drugstore eyeliners video that I did a couple years ago, this was in it. I know that I love it, but I didn't even have it anymore because I had to toss it. So I was really excited to have a reason to go and buy it. And this time I decided to get brown just to switch it up a little bit. I think I'm gonna do a brown wing with this. This just glides right on. Oh, such a good formula. Really pretty. I feel like the brown just makes the wing a little bit softer but it's still intense because it's liquid. And I'm just gonna do the same thing on this eye. Okay, I think that's as good as it's gonna get. So I'm gonna take a smaller pencil brush and get the half-baked deepest matte shade and put that along my lower lash line. All right, next for mascara, I had to go and buy this. I know I've used this several times before, but it's been definitely over a year since I've used it. So I'm interested to see if I still like it compared to all the other mascaras I've been trying. And it's the L'Oreal Telescopic Original Mascara. It's got the tiniest little brush. You can almost not tell the difference between where the wand end and the brush starts, but I'm just going to give my lashes a generous coat. I feel like the new Sky High mascara that's gone viral is so, so similar to this. The new Maybelline Lash Sensational Sky High. So I feel like if you love this mascara, you'll like that one too. But this one does a much better job of creating volume in my opinion, and curling the lashes. I didn't even curl my lashes before I started applying this, and this has done a lot of curling all on its own. So that's a couple coats on that eye, and you can see the difference. No curler, no nothing. I can definitely see why people love this. Okay, yes, I am loving these lashes right now. All right, next up we've got the lips, and this is a formula that I've tried before, but I've never tried this color, and the person specifically said this color and it's the Neutrogena Moisture Smooth Color Stick in the shade Almond Nude. I saw those words together and I was like, that sounds like my cup of tea. So I'm really excited to try this. I love when you first open these because they've got like the little point, you can use it as a lip liner. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put this all over. Oh my gosh, this color. Look at that, it's like the exact same color as my lips, but better. Mm. It smells so good. It smells like starburst and it literally just feels like I put a chapstick on what a beautiful color you guys wow I love this and then I think I'm gonna add a little bit more liner but before we do that we have one last product that you guys said you could not live without and this was a very common response and it's the wet n wild mega glow highlighting powder and this is in the shade precious petals I'm gonna use my wet n wild highlighter brush it only seems fitting I feel like I've been trying so many highlighters recently, but this one is a classic. And it will never not be amazing. And then just to finish it off, I'm gonna curl my lashes and do some tight lining 
just to define my eyes a little bit more. And that is the final look, you guys. I am not surprised. I've never been let down in one of these videos, but oh my goodness, there were some serious standout products. I think the products that blew me away the most were this lip color and this concealer. Oh my gosh, these are incredible. But absolutely everything I used was beautiful. I am so happy with the way that it turned out, even though I feel like I should just like cut off this shirt. It doesn't go with this look at all, but that's okay because I'm really happy with the way that it turned out. So thank you guys so much for your amazing recommendations. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. It really helps out my channel and my videos, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.